Laura, how are you doing today? Not too good, yeah? It's 5 p.m. now. Uh, please welcome us. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Cyril Dvoretsky. I'm a developer advocate at the Cloud Native and Ubiden Foundation. And uh, please welcome Nikita. Uh, I'm a software engineer at Lutza, and I'm also on the Kubernetes steering committee. So today we will not make the too deep technical talk as the previous presenters did. Today we'll speak about the community, about the value that community brings and how can you become the part of this community and how can you bring your value and uh, how can you bring your value to building the cloud native ecosystem in this, this world. So first of all, uh, you can remember that CNCF has a few dozen open source projects, and all of them are developed by people. Uh, they are all developed in the open way and in the open source way. All these projects have the solid contributors community and the solid end users community around them. And all these projects are, again, they are all built by us, by the representatives of the community. So the first thing that you should be aware of if you are considering becoming a contributor to the cloud native ecosystem is to check out our contributor, contributors' guides on, uh, that are hosted on GitHub. They are available to everyone, and they share the insights on how can you become a code developer for some of the CNCF projects. How can you start your local meetup group, for example? How can you? Uh, be more successful in some different areas of the community building, and what are the other valuable things that you can do for this cloud native ecosystem. One of the easiest ways to get started with the cloud native community is to join one of our meetup groups. Today we have more than 100 meetup groups around the globe, and 15 of them are here in India. Another big way and important way of being more involved into, into the cloud native world and becoming more visible in the cloud native ecosystem is to become the CNCF ambassador. CNCF ambassadors are the people who drive in the local meetup groups, they write blog posts, they do public, speakers, public speaking as us, and they are also well recognizable by the local community itself. And in India, we have eight ambassadors, which is one of the most impressive results, which is one of the most impressive numbers around the globe, around the uh, global ambassadors community of CNCF. Another way how can you get started with becoming a contributor to the cloud native projects? It's more about the technical way, it's more about writing code or doing some, some other valuable things is to join us uh, as a person who is new to this community with our mentorship programs, which are funded and driven by CNCF. We have successful record of doing the Google Summer of Code programs during the last few years. We have recently launched the Community Bridge program, where we have a few amazing mentees from India as well. We have the Outreach Web. We are supporting the Outreach program, where we have uh, various diverse mentees around the globe as well. And more than 50 mentees of all these projects are of Indian origin. So if you're looking for something like this, and if you haven't started doing, uh, becoming uh, a mentee here, so it's your chance now. Now I'd like to pass the ball to Nikita. Nikita is also one of our uh, successful examples of how a person could be a Google Summer of Code mentee a few years ago. Now Nikita also helps CNCF with the mentorship programs as well as the Google Summer of Code and Community Breach Administrator. So please welcome Nikita, and she'll share her insights on becoming the contributor to Kubernetes itself. Thanks, Ihor. So let's dive into the Kubernetes community. I'm going to do a very shameless plug here. I gave a lengthier version of this talk in the last year's Kubernetes Days India. So if this is something you're interested in, also go watch that talk. So the upstream Kubernetes project is divided into multiple groups. The most common one that you might have heard in this whole conference is special interest groups, or SIGs. SIGs are the groups which own code, and uh, 
and you might have heard of SIGs like SIG Auth, SIG CLI or SIG Testing which focus on certain aspects of the project. There are also groups called working groups which are temporary groups for cross SIG efforts. There are user groups which have a focus towards users of Kubernetes and there are committees which deal with sensitive items in the project. So as you can see, we have a ton of these groups and you can join and participate in the ones that you're interested in. All of these groups have mailing lists and Slack channels where you can join, uh, interact and ask questions to maintainers. And all of these groups also have public meetings which are published on YouTube. So even if you're not able to attend them, you can view those and all meetings also have meeting notes if you're not a fan of watching lengthy uh, video recordings. Uh, this is something that Dims mentioned in his talk. I just want to reiterate on this. We have three India-specific Slack channels in the Kubernetes Slack. A lot of folks, I think like 500 or 400 plus folks are there on the in-dev channel already. But if you're not already on this channel, please join it. And if you are already on this channel, say hi, drop a line or two about who you are, what you work on, and what you would like to work on in the community. The in-users channel is for users of Kubernetes. The in-events channel is for events happening in India, just like this one, or any meetups that are happening across the world. The in-events channel is also used for solic soliciting speakers and CFPs, so this is a good avenue to figure out where you can give a talk as well. If you're not already on the Kubernetes Slack, you can join, uh, get an invite for the Slack instance at slack.kates.io. So you want to contribute code to the Kubernetes project. So the first thing you need to do is understand the code base. And the way you can do that is uh, by reading something called as a contributor guide, which details uh, conventions that we follow in the community, and a developer guide, which has instructions about how you can set up your developer, in, uh, developer environment up to what are the API conventions or how you can change the API what are release processes, and all of that information. You can find that at github.com slash Kubernetes slash community. We also have tons of code base tour videos on the Kubernetes YouTube channel, if that's how you would like to understand things better. To find an issue that you want to work on in the Kubernetes project, we have two labels, good first issue and help wanted. Uh, good first issues are for first timers, absolute beginners in the project, help wanted are issues for folks who've already solved at least one or two good first issues. You can also do issue triage, that is help with looking, we have like 2,000 issues at this point on the Kubernetes project. We need a lot of help with this. So you can do issue triage, that is make sure that issues have the right labels, people are paying attention to it, it does not get auto-closed clo closed by a bot. Uh, and priorities are set for these issues. We really need help with this. So if this is something that you're interested in, it won't take too much time, please check it out. But contributions are not just about code. They can be about much more than that. So if you are interested in something like project management or helping run contributor events like contributor summits or being a moderator for YouTube, Slack, or uh, we also have code of, com uh, code of conduct committees and communication infra. All of these are places that you can contribute to without involving code. It, we also have dedicated uh, mentoring programs in the upstream project. Uh, the, the release team especially is an excellent example of this. I'm pretty sure there are folks over here who have been previously on the release team and also on the current release team. The release team has specific roles, defined and role handbooks, and each role has a lead and multiple shadows. So you can become a lead. You, basically, shadows are mentees and leads are mentors. And in the next release cycle, you can even become the lead. Once you join in the community, this you will eventually grow in grow up the contributor ladder. You will start as a member. Uh, as a non-member contributor initially, then you'll become a member of the Kubernetes GitHub organization. Then you'll become a reviewer, and you'll automatically get, uh, like, get assigned pull requests by a robot, and you need to help review PRs. 
finally you become an approver and you get to sign off on PRs and then an owner who sets priorities and gives technical leadership for a particular sub-project. So I hope you all join in and contribute more to the Upstream project. Definitely join the in-depth channel on Slack even if you don't know what you want to contribute to and we can help figure you out how you can get started. You heard you want to say a few last final words? Sure. Um, so please join us at the Cloud Native community. We're waiting for you. This is the open community and inclusive to everyone. So please join us. Thank you. Thank you.